Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome back. Today, we are finally going to get our camera. We have a quest that we picked up very early on and completely forgot about because, you know, that's what I tend to do. <laughs> uh, I get so distracted with traveling and finding every little tiny nook and cranny I can. But we're going to go down here in the depths. Now that we know what the depths are, we're going to get our camera. We got to look for a Robbie though. How far did Robbie go? I don't know. Is that your job? Oh, hold on. There's a light room over here. What are you? Hold on. What is that? Deep Firefly, a multi-winged insect that lives in the depths. It excretes luminescent elements that can be cooked. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We have a glow. Let's see what this does. Oh, it's like a little spotlight. Okay, love that. Let's grab uh, this light root though and brighten it up. And just because I'm insane and we've done this already, I want to make sure. So this is the Geosyn Shrine and this is the... Yeah, okay, that's totally right. Okay, so it is above and below. Perfect, love it. And there we go, a little tiny blip of this huge full world map that is the depths of Hyrule. All right, now if I was Robbie, where would I go? That's where we came from. No, that's where we came from. There's a camp over here, but there's also a camp here. All right, Robbie, where are you? Oh, I don't like this stuff. Don't like that stuff at all. Is this Robbie's journal? Looks like this place is swimming in gloom. We don't have any bright blooms, it'd be curtains. I just spotted something of interest through my goggles. It's shaped like a figure. I'll be con continuing to head west towards one of those glowing roots. Okay. So west is that way. I don't know, do we spend like a whole slew of Tears of the Kingdom episodes down here just trying to unlock the full map? Or would that be too, too boring? I don't know. Not boring for me, I love it. But boring for all of you. Ooh, bomb. Also, Robbie, where are you? You said you were going this way? All right, and in that case, Let's just drop a little bright bloom. Perk up the place a little bit. It's so like eerie and quiet. I don't know if I'm gonna have to like add some music. What is this? A puff shroom. Spread a cloud of spores. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like a uh, ninja smoke, I guess, if you will. It's gross. We need another big fella over there. I hope we're going the right way. I think we are. Let me alone, let me alone, let me alone, let me alone. What was that? There's like too much down here. Get out of here. Nobody likes you. Alright, there you are, Robbie. Okay, we're making progress, we're making progress. Alright, Robbie, you were... There you are. Is this what Joshua wanted? <gasps> what? Look how bright that thing got. That light down here in the dark is downright refreshing. Hmm. In fact, it's luminous. It's almost like... <sighs> like we're on the surface. Just standing near it makes me feel so much better. How strange. <gasps> hey, it's you. You're finally here. I need to show you what I found. Oh, this voice is killing my throat. This statue is standing tall on two legs, one arm raised high. Yeah, what is that? Are we about to, is there like a whole new species of, or race down here? It looks an awful lot like the figure Josha showed us on the piece of slate, don't you think? All right, get that camera of yours ready. It's time to put it to work. That's right, I forgot. You hadn't used the camera when we last spoke. Very curious indeed. 
given it's one of the pure pad's basic features. Hmm. Give me that pure pad for a second, all right? Well, there's the problem. Your camera is locked, and so is your Hyrule Compendium. Hang on. If I remember correctly, you press this while you pull this, and then you tap that, and... We get a camera. Oh, wait, we're still missing one. Ultra Hand, Fuse, Ascend, Recall, Camera. Is that the Amiibo? Wasn't there an Amiibo one in Breath of the Wild? I don't own any Amiibos, so that's probably not going to happen. Boom! Now you should be able to use both the camera and your Hyrule Compendium. So go capture a picture of that statue. This is a good chance to verify that it's working properly, too. Test it out! Experience is the best teacher, after all. Once you've captured that image, come back here. I want to see how it looks. You got it. Camera. There we go. Hey, you! How'd that go? If you captured an image of the statue with your camera, then hurry up and show it to me. I'd like to see how it looks. It literally just happened, Robbie. Need you to calm down a little bit, please. So, did you get a good picture? Stupendous! Looks like you've captured it well. I'm sure Joshua will be satisfied with this. Letting up that immense root, getting us a picture of the statue. You've just started helping us research what's down here. But soon enough, we're, we're going to have even more to investigate. Well then, it's time I head back up to the surface. See you at Lookout Landing. Don't make Joshua wait too long for that picture. All right, let's go head right up then. All right, now Joshua was over here, right? Yeah, there she is. Hey, you! Show Joshua that picture you took of the statue. The figure matches up pretty well, and it looks darn cool, too. Hey! This is it! This does match what's on the fragment! Yeah! Thank you, swordsman! Just like on the slate, this figure must be showing people of some sort, whoever they were. Which confirms my theory, that people lived in the depths. I'm sure we'll find more traces of them if we keep searching. This is a big, big, big discovery. Now, what's next? The possibilities. There's so much more to research. Oh, but before I focus on that, there's something I want to give you as a thanks for helping me with this stage of my investigation. Our earlier surveys of the depths found all of this. What do you think it's for? I don't know. I feel as there's these contain some kind of strange power. Like maybe it's energy for something? Anyway, they might help you in your search for Princess Zelda. So hopefully you'll find them useful. The fragment has helped us see the depths in a new way. Now we're closer to understanding one of its mysteries. I'm going to sift through everything that our surveys have brought survey Ooh. That our surveys have brought back from down there. Maybe there are even more fragments that I can piece together. Goggles? Swordsman? <laughs> Thank you so much for investigating the depths for me. You got it. We must get to the lab. What lab? Great job getting that picture of the figure that Joshua was looking for. She was pretty happy to see that statue. And I was thrilled to show you how to use the camera. Inspired, even. The Pure Pad has even more potential functions, you know? Hey. Listen up. Big updates here. Your Pure Pad can be equipped with sensor that detects shrines. The dreaded beep. I'm the first one in all of Hyrule who knows the shrines after the upheaval, so I created a sensor to detect them. Only thing is, I can't set it up here at Lookout Landing. It'd be nearly impossible unless I'm at the Pure Pad Research in Hateno Village. <laughs> a research lab? That's right. It's a lab dedicated to the enhancement of the Pure Pad, which Pure and I developed. Once I'm in that lab and you join me there, I can further improve your Pure Pad, starting with the sensor. You'll find the lab in East Nakluda, off in the southeast corner of Hyrule. On its far side is Hateno Village. Go a bit further than that, and you'll see a mighty peculiar place. Don't let the looks fool you. It's cutting-edge lab. But for now, Josh's investigations are my main priority. So until she gets further along, I'll be staying here for a while. Oh, okay. So Josha has another quest. 
Now that I know the fragments like this one can help us see the depths in a new way, I'll be searching my collection for more. I'll let you know if that leads to a new breakthrough. Until then, you should probably focus on the investigations that Doc tasks you with, Swordsman. He just said that... Okay. Anything new, Robert? So if you... Okay, starting the shrine sensor. Can't do it here. Okay. We got that. Can I lab? Okay, so nothing we can really do there yet. We'll have to come back. But I think in the meantime, we can probably do some shrines, right? So I think what we're going to do is we are going to head over to our first overworld shrine. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so first shrine for the day is going to be the Rakashog Shrine. Where's the door? There's the door. All right, a reflective device. Okay, we've kind of done something like this already. Question is, nope, never mind. There it is. That's what we need, the mirror. So I'm just gonna grab you real quick. Bring you up a little closer and then all we gotta do is pop you in here. Bing bong bong, bing bong. Wait. Bing bang bong, there we go, that's it. Ooh, hold on, this one looks a little more complicated. How am I supposed to do this? Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, hold on, we got it. There we go. Do we have a door? We do Ooh, look at that. Is that what we're supposed to do? Uh, no. <laughs> we were supposed to do this. Okay. So we'll grab you. And then we'll put you down. Right? And that's it. Ooh. Were we supposed to be on there? We were. Okay. And actually, hold on. It looks like... We may need more light. But how do we get you there? That makes no sense. Hold on. Also, why? Are, oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Do we need something with this? I honestly don't know what we're supposed to be doing here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. We can reach that. We can totally reach that. Where's the... Where's the mirror? There you are. So let's see if we can do it this way. Oh, wait. Is that why we need the block so we can attach it? Or actually, no. I don't think so. So that's going to block the light. Or wait, do I need to prop it up like that, maybe? Okay, hold on. I see, I see, I see. I think I see. So if we do that... I can't climb on you. Okay, can I make it? Can I make it? Oh. Okay, I see it now. So now that we have that angled, we can go back up top, grab the next one, use Ultra Hand, get that in the right spot, get the light, open up whatever secret it has. So we just gotta take you, right? Kind of. Right spot. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. There we go. Oh, it's a chest. Well, what's in the chest? I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I saw some baddies over here. Hello, fools. Are we just gonna have to, like, direct the light? Do we even need three? It's like we don't. So I can just do this. Wait a minute. 
There we go. Oh, I see. I see what you're doing. Making a fool of me. You grabbed the wrong one. There we go. Well, that was fun. I hope we play more with that. Because I do like that little mechanic. Maybe, oh, maybe we'll get that in Gerudo, since that's kind of like deserty, has a lot of sunlight. All right, next up, we are in the desert, Gerudo Desert specifically. And we have the Siwakama Shrine, or the Jojo Siwakama Shrine. What's this one? Moving the spheres. Okay. Do we just use the spheres as like bridges? It looks like we might. Hold on. Oh, okay. Rude. I go all the way back around. All right, let's try that again. Jump. Oh my God. Someone please tell me why I did not jump. All right, run and jump. Jump. There we go. All right, we're over. Now I'm gonna bring you in case we need you. And it looks like we definitely will. So do I just do that? Yeah, there we go. Okay. And I'm assuming since we brought the other one and needed it, we bring both of you. Oh, you're like a weird pyramid thing. Hold on. Do I need all three though? Okay. Kind of. Let's find out. Yeah, we need all three. Okay. I guess we do it that way. Maybe drop it down like right there. I mean, that kind of works, right? And there we go. Good job. Good job. Good job. Nice try, Raru. Or nice shrine. Not nice try. Nice shrine. All right. Next up on our shrine hunt, the Kamatokus. Kamatokus shrine. Okay. Kamatokus. What's going on here? A precise strike. All right. Seems simple enough. Just got to do like a hammer thing. I did not mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that either. No, that's, I feel like that's all wrong. I'm gonna put a one hand around. No, can we? Oh my gosh. There. Let's try it that way now. I feel like this has to be too big of a hit. Maybe that way? Nope. Okay, I'm gonna come back. There we go. Alright, so we definitely gotta hit it bigger. Oh, how did I mess that up? Alright, bigger hit, bigger hit, bigger hit. There we go. Too big. Too big. So maybe not so much of an angle. There we go. A little loop de loop into the hole. Oh, don't be rude. Don't be rude. Oh, uh, you're so rude. I was gonna try to jump over there. There's a gap. All right, I'm getting over there one way or the other. Hold on. I'm not gonna make that. Oh wait, it's still over there, hold on. There's gotta be a way to get over there. Or wait, is it going in by itself? No, it's not. I don't wanna miss it. Uh, all right, how about this? Jump this way. There we go. Got it. 
Got it. We're just going to push it right in ourselves. Because sometimes that's all you got to do. Oh, let me grab this extra hand here. There. Now, is there an easy way to get back? Hopefully. Uh, yes, actually, there's a big ladder. See, look at that. They wanted you to come over here. Or else, why would they have a ladder? All right, there's another room over here. Oh, cool. Okay. Big hit. In the hole, in the hole, in the hole. Stay, stay. Look at that, second try. Technically the first, right? Because that first try wasn't really a first try, it was more of a warm up shot. Ooh, well, is it though? Nah, it goes to such a trouble. We gotta find more quark seeds. That's what we need to do. All right. In the meantime, though, let's grab this Lord of Blessing. Now, I think what I want to do is I want to... See what's going on over here. Because we haven't been over here pretty much at all yet. So I'm curious, now that we know that the depths exist... Is there a depths in here? Uh, okay, that's actually not going to be too far. As long as it doesn't start raining, it should be okay. Oh, hold on. We can actually probably... No, I messed this up. I messed it up. I messed it up. I used too much jumps. And I don't have any stamina food, do I? No. Actually, hold on. This might be straight enough so we can take a break. With some big, strong jumps. There you go, Link. You got it. 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 Okay. Yeah, let's see what's down here. Skull Lake Cave. Oh my gosh, I'm dead. So it's a cave, not the depths. Ooh, Skull and Bob's. Hello. Goodbye. I'll take whatever's in here, though. Oh, it's just... Oh, right now there's an opal. The bright blue seeds. Oh, what's that? It's not a shrine in this here. Shrine in here, is it? No. Where are you? Ooh. Ooh. What is this? Figure Studi Mask. Legends say that this mask was once worn by a hero from a world in which the moon threatened to fall. It looks scary, but wearing it offers fierce godlike power. Is that Majora's Mask? I've actually never played Majora's Mask. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. We need to find these other pieces now. We are going to have to find these other pieces now. We're going to leave it there for today. I think that's a good spot to leave it. I mean, can you really top? Finding this piece of armor? I don't think so. Look at that. Our eyes are white. Uh, so yeah, if you made it this far, thank you for hanging out. Maybe subscribe. Maybe give a like. Maybe drop a hello in the comments. But definitely enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you in the next video very, very soon. So until then, bye-bye. Uh,